Copy and text on Android has been quite cumbersome in the past. Fighting with the user inter interface to highlight just the text you want has always been an issue for me, but it goes beyond that as well. The clipboard is supposed to make things quicker and easier than just typing something out, but in some cases on Android, that just wasn't the experience. So with the launch of Android 13, the mobile operating system now has some tools to make things a bit more manageable. Firstly, we have what is referred to as the clipboard preview that appears at the bottom of the screen whenever you copy some text or an image. It shouldn't matter where this text is copied from. The pop-up should appear down at the bottom to give you a preview of what has just been added to the clipboard. So let's highlight some text. We're going to tap on copy and you can see this clipboard preview pop-up window down here at the bottom so that you know the contents of what have, has just been added to your clipboard. So if you're simply copying some text from a website, you're going to see those same words appear in the little bubble down there at the bottom of the screen. And we also have a way of quickly sharing the contents of this by simply tapping the share icon next to that pop-up. But you should also know that Android 13 also lets you edit the contents of the clipboard from that bubble as well. So instead of tapping the share button after we have copied something to our clipboard, if we tap the bubble itself, it's going to bring up an editor with the contents of what we have just copied to our clipboard. So if it was text that was just copied, then you can change the words around, maybe fix up a typo that you have noticed, and then tap the done button up here at the top so that the changes take effect and the new contents have been added to your clipboard. Now, if you were to copy an image, the same thing is available to you on Android 13. So if we go and we copy an entire image, we can see that image appear in that pop-up down there at the bottom. Again, if we want, we can share that image. Or, just like with text, we can edit that image by tapping on the picture, and it's going to bring us up into a editor for that image. Maybe you want to add some markup to the picture, write some notes on it, whatever you want to do from the image editor here. Then when you're done, just tap the copy button up there at the top. The changes are going to be saved and the new marked up or edited image is going to be sent to your clipboard. And similarly to how Android handles the screenshot preview, after you copy something to your clipboard and the preview is displayed, we can simply swipe it away from the screen if we want to remove that pop-up window. We can see that. If we don't want to see that anymore, we can just swipe it away very quickly. So even if you don't have plans of using the new editing feature, Android won't make you sit there and wait until the clipboard preview pop-up goes away before you can continue on with what you were doing.